Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Your Space Connected. This is a space where we're going to maintain a bilingual connection. We are going to be using this hour to know people from all over the world, know what they're doing, what they're studying, and what kind of interesting lives they are coming together with. I am very happy to have you here today, and welcome to Connected. to tell you that you don't only see us from our Abby Ayala channel, but you can also follow us on our YouTube channel, Facebook, and Twitter. Today's topic, it's a very well-known term that lately has become more and more popular. We are going to talk about entrepreneurs. Have you ever heard this word? Do you know what exactly means? Well, today we are going to find out and we're going to clarify any doubts you could probably have. An entrepreneur, it's a type, it's a lifestyle. If we compare back in the day, we used to, as a life structure, follow high school, fin graduate from high school, follow up with uh, a career in college and then finally get a job, right? That was basically how was the system. Uh, lately, several young people have developed a new lifestyle, a new way to be able to support themselves. So how, this is when an entrepreneur comes up and how do they really do? What they do, you first find out what are you good at? You find out your passion. You find out something that makes you happy and something that um, you can actually project yourself. Then you make, you take the risk and you make, you become, you make that your own business. How, what does that mean exactly? When I tell you that you become your own, um, your own boss, it means that you have to find your own way to get, to reach your goals, right? So an entrepreneur, it's a person that uh, builds and launches their own business, even though knowing that this takes a big risk. What do we mean when we say a big risk? Most of the time the risk is financial because it's different when you go to a, a company hired and they pay for everything for you, right? They pay for your, for your time and they pay for your work. But you, when you are an entrepreneur, you find your own money and you invest your own money on yourself. And that is the beauty of becoming an entrepreneur. So today it's being very well known and we've seen several uh, business that actually worked out. That's the reason why people are practicing and practicing more and more. Our special guest today, it's a young entrepreneur that has been working on his own business the past two years. Two years. He lives in Miami, Florida, and he has he launched his own hostel. When we come back, we're gonna have questions for him. Stay tuned, stay connected. Welcome back, I'm glad you're still connected and we are already with our friend Jay Murphy. We are connecting with him to uh, all the way to Miami in Florida. Jay, as I told you before, has owned his own business for the past two years. Uh, his hostel name is Star Sunshine and let's go ahead and talk to him. Jay, how are you doing? Are you there? Yes, I'm here. Hello. Hi. Okay, I'm so happy that you're here. Welcome to Connected. I want to make you the first question, and I'm very curious about it, about this actually. So, how did you decide from all of the fields on on the market? How did you decide to make a hostel, and how did that change your lifestyle? And how hard or how how easy it was? Um, well, yeah, I've been ha uh, running the hostel for about the last two years, and I love it. Um, I had always wanted to have my own business, and I always loved traveling, and, and I would always stay in hostels. So I kind of just had the idea to get my own place, and I love it. That makes more a lot of sense, actually. So from your life before having your own business and today, where you would be already spent two years uh, taking care of it, 
how can you tell us how did your life change on a personal level? Um, on a personal level, I mean, I feel a lot more confident. I feel very happy. I mean, I'm, I have to be responsible for myself. I'm meeting a lot of interesting people. You know, I just, um, it's, it's definitely a lifestyle change, and but it's great. For the better all the way. <laughs> yeah, for sure. All right. And how about on the professional level? I'm not familiar with your background. Have you ever before had the uh, chance to actually manage some sort of business or is this your first time? How did you prepare for it? Um, no, I really didn't have any experience with that. I mean, I just had like the typical jobs before. So this definitely was a change. I mean, um, I basically had to learn I use the Airbnb system, so it's pretty it's pretty easy. You know, I just have the guests go to, to the website and they book the reservations there. It's all done online and I just get little messages to my phone. So it kind of helps me keep me organized. Right, like they contact you pretty easy and fast. Yeah. Okay, that sounds good. Um, we are going to go to commercials right now. We're going to be back for one more question for Jay. Don't go anywhere, stay connected. back with Jay and the last question for him. Jay, tell us after these two years, after all the experience you had managing your own business, what would you tell to some people, some young or maybe not so young or maybe even older people that are considering opening their own business? We know that some people that may probably they have their whole life one job and maybe now is the moment for them to take the big step and go by themselves. What would you recommend? What would be your advice about this? Um, you know, you just need to follow your heart and, and follow your dreams. And if you have a passion for something, then then you can make it into your work and then the work will be, you know, it won't, it won't be like a job. You'll, it, it'll be a great way to, um, a great lifestyle and a great way to make money. That is, sounds really right. Um, Jay, I want to thank you so much for the time spent with us. It's really, it, I think it's a very important theme nowadays, especially for the youngest, right? They want to try, want to go ahead and try to do something on their own. I want to thank you for your time and I hope to still con be connected with you. Well, thanks for having me on the show and thank you, Bolivia. And um, please come to Miami and stay in my place. I look forward to seeing you guys. All right, everybody, take note. If you want to find Jay, you all, you logging into Airbnb, find out the Design District in Miami, Starshine Hostel. Stay connected. I'm happy to know that you are still connected. Now we are going to walk onto our section, Knowing the Basics. On this section, we are going to define some of the important aspects and important terms about our topic, entrepreneurs. We started the show advising you guys that in order to start your own business, you must know what are you good at. Once you know that, there are three important aspects you need to know to make a very good plan in order to have good results. The first one is the customer. It's very important to know what kind of people do you want to reach on, right? Especially if you are going to sell something to those, pers those people. First question that you should ask yourself is what do the people want? What do the, your customers want? Number two, you should ask yourselves, um, how do they want this? Whether you're going to offer a product or a service, you should know how people want to get that. And number three, also important to know how much they are willing to pay for it. Only knowing these three important things, you are going to be able to have uh, great results and to deliver a great service. 
Number two, supply and demand. Very important to know about the supply. Whether you are offering products or a service, very important to know to have those things before you actually offer it. Number two is going to be uh, demand. What, how does this change on when we talk about supply and demand? It's important to know the relation between the both. For instance, if you have a lot of supply, for instance, you have, you are offering products and you have a very um, large quantity of your product, your price is going to go lower. Now, if you have not very, not a lot of your product, it's um, normal that your price is going to go high. So it's important to always have a balance between supply and demand. Number three, last but not least, competition. In the business world, only the strong survive. What does this mean? Well, it's very important to know what are the others doing. For as much as we have a big market, it's important to know what are the other people offering, right? And how are they offering? That is going to be give us an strength, right? It's gonna give us, it's gonna open a view for us to be able to reach the customer in a different way. Even though in the market today, we find several companies that are probably trying to survive selling the same thing, only by you knowing what makes you different from the others will make people trying to contact you and consuming you. So always take the time to find out what are the others doing so you don't get repetitive and make sure people follow you. With those three tips, we reach the end of our show. I am very thankful to have you here. And I wanna leave you with the thought of you finding what are you good at. I am very sure that it's very important to take the moment to reflect. What are the things that make us happy? What are the things that you are good at? I am sure that you have something special that the world needs it. When you find that, make sure to take the risk and share with everybody. That's going to make a whole community grow up and sometimes you can even change uh, other people's environment. Very important to take the risk and to take the moment to think about it. I wanna remind you that you don't only see us here in the Abbe Ayala channel, but also on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. I will see you in seven days. Stay connected and thank you for watching.